Hello and welcome to another video from Haste Computer Repair. Today I will be demonstrating how to replace the damaged display panel on Lenovo ThinkPad T570 laptop. So before we begin, I should note that what you'll need to complete this job is something flat and plastic like this tool from an iFixit kit or a plastic guitar pick would work as well. Something that doesn't scratch up the uh, display bezel and also a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, we'll start by removing battery. And if your model has an internal battery, uh, you can deactivate it in BIOS or you can pull it from the motherboard after you remove the back panel. So the bezel that you'll want to remove is actually quite thin and flimsy, so you want to take really good care removing it because it's held on by an adhesive beyond little plastic clips along the outer edge. So you just want to be careful not to bend it up too much because when you go to put it back on, it might be all wavy and not look so great. So let's start by just scoring the top and the side. Let's loosen it up and we'll see if we need to use a heat gun or not. Now I'm really not a big fan of just how thin and flimsy this material is. Uh, it's not very durable. It does the trick, it looks nice, uh, new from the manufacturer, and if you're careful putting it back on, it's just way too easy to destroy it by accident. And especially if you're working on a customer's laptop, you want to be as gentle as possible. Now next up, you can take your Phillips head screwdriver and remove a screw here, 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 and here and you'll be able to lift the panel and remove the cable connection. Alright, now we'll just gently lift up and we can place the display panel right here on top of the keyboard and we'll get to removing the cable connection right here. So there's a thin piece of tape that you want to gently remove And there is a little latch here that you have to pull up and you can release the cable just like that. Now you don't want to be gentle to release this way, not this way. Just pull out and it should come out just easily like that. So we're gonna lay the new display panel on top of the keyboard and you just wanna lay something like a nice cloth that'll protect it from getting scratched up. And I have this blue microfiber cloth. So here's the new 1080p display panel. Lay it down, and let's reattach that cable. So now that this clear tape has lost some of its adhesive quality, what I'm going to do is just put a piece of electrical tape and that'll just help hold things in place over time. All right, now let's get this thing strapped in and test out. Hopefully it works flawlessly. All right, so now for the grand reveal. Let's plug this thing in and boot on to see if we get a display. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that great looking panel. Alright, so let's power this thing off again. And let's get that bezel back on, but first, peel off that plastic. Alright. Alright, so now we have an awesome looking new 1920 by 1080p display panel installed on this T570 and the job is complete. Hopefully this video helped you out. If not, leave me a comment. Uh, if you have any tips to share or some experiences to share, leave them in a comment and we'll talk there. Other than that, 
thanks a lot for watching and <clears throat> I hope you have a great day.